G'day guys, Sam Cordingly again here. So now we're going to move on to attacking running lines for a nine uh, from the base of a ruck. I've got my mate Moses here that's going to, he's going to run through a few drills in a second. One of the things we want to focus on is making sure that once again we've got our body height nice and low when we're picking up that ball. Now what we want to be trying to do, once again, similar to our approach to the ball, we don't want to be running square out of the ruck because that brings that first defender into play. What we want to do is use our acceleration, and most of us nines are pretty quick. Mate, I'm not anymore, probably never was when I was playing. But when you get out of the ruck, give yourself about a 45 degree angle. We should be able to burn this guy who's the first defender, or the pillar number one, whatever you call him. What we're trying to do is put a bit of doubt in the mind of the second or third defender. So my big focus here is what he's going to be doing with his shoulders. And what I want to see this defender do is either turn his shoulders in or out, that's my cue. If he turns his shoulders in, I know he's going to square up and try and whack me. That's my opportunity to ball play to someone outside of me into space. One of the things we know as a nine, sometimes we've got to just wear a bruise. We've got to take that hit to put a bloke in a better position. But if our, third, our second or third defender turns his shoulders to the outside and keeps moving, that's my hole. I'm going to beat this first defender. I'm going to use that gas. He might come across and get me around the legs. If he catches me, I can still service my ball runners through the line. The key is to make sure our forwards are really proactive in their running. They do not stop. When we get out as a nine, they're continuing at the line, offering me an opportunity to hit them in space. So we're just going to run through the drill now with Moses. What's key to this is to make sure that our defender is really deliberate with what he wants to do, which way he's going to be turning his shoulders, because that's the cue for Moses to make his decision to either run or ball play. I'll be the receiver on the outside if he chooses to hit me. Good. Oh, mate. So one of the really important things, guys, to focus on, if our defender turns his shoulders out in this situation, what we want to really maintain is that running line. So I'm getting out, defender turns his shoulders, I want to be maintaining my running line in that sort of 45 degree angle. So I'm keeping, I'm, I'm taking these guys out of play, the guys that are folding across, either the, the first defender, the halfback, or the defenders on the opposite side of the ruck but I'm also linking up with my outside support as well. So I continue on this running line to take those guys out of play. He's already turned his shoulders. He's out of play, he's not gonna to get to me. Yeah, mate. Good, very good. Guys, one of the other important things to make sure, as I said, those forward runners have gotta be really proactive. What you wanna make sure they're doing as well is maintaining their width. Most nines can, throw, can service a pretty good pass. Moses is doing a really good job here. If we get that forward runner trying to condense that space too much, it really does limit the opportunity for the nine to run. So we want to create more space. We want to get these forward runners a bit wider, start getting them outside that second, that, that third to fourth defender, spreading the defense a bit and creating opportunities for both nine and themselves. Yeah, mate, so, good, mate. So guys, that's a wrap for our attacking lines uh, running drill here. So really simple drill to do, you only need three people. Uh, keys for the drill, of course, make sure that Nine's giving himself some time, getting out about that 45 degree angle, getting those guys thinking they've got to chase out, try and get someone, get someone pulled out of the line, get a defender pulled out of the line. And the other thing is just to focus on what that defender's shoulders are doing. He turns in, the opportunity to shift to the outside, he turns out, there's a cue to run. Yeah, mate.